Hi there, my name is Daniel App, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to keep the files inside a project organized. With any project that you work on, it's essential to keep your files organized. You have a lot of files you're working with, and if you don't have any system of placing these files in certain directories, well, then it's going to be really, really hard to work on anything. Well, okay, enough chit chat, let's uh, start working. So, uh, first create a new folder in which our project will be, I'll name mine's project, and open it up and create a folder named Flash. This one will contain our Flash documents, second one named Code, which will contain our action script files, and this last a folder named Output, which will contain all our Swift and HTML files. Okay, well, let's uh, open up Flash, so there, and create a new Flash file. Okay, let's uh, create some graphics, so, uh, well, there you go, really ugly smiling, and uh, let's save it, so file, save, and let's save it inside our Flash folder, so project, Flash, and I'll name this one project. Okay, save it. Now, if we're gonna test our movie or publish it, it will publish uh, in the Flash folder, and we don't want it, we want it to be published in our output folder. So we need to change the directory to what Flash will publish. So go back to Flash and change the publish settings. File, publish settings, and here you gotta change the directories. You want, we want to get to the parent of uh, the Flash folder, which is the project folder, and then enter the output folder, like so. Okay. and if we now press OK and we do file publish then it's going to place them in the output folder as we see and none in the flash folder except our flash document okay last thing uh, we're gonna add a class to our uh, flash document we'll name it Ming okay and uh, let's create a new flash uh, action script file so new action script file, okay, and I'll paste now some uh, code, like so, and okay, and uh, let's save it, so file, save, and we're gonna name it main, and we'll save it in our code folder, like so, okay, it's uh, really easy, when the flash movie starts, then it will trace hello there, so only the swift will do that, Okay, so if we now would test our movie, so control test movie, we don't see any output. It's not tracing anything. And how come? Because Flash will only look for this action script file right inside the Flash folder, and it needs to look in the code folder. So we need to change something. So go to uh, Flash and File, Publish Settings. Okay, click the Flash button script action script 3.0 settings and here we have the sort path which we're gonna change it's now just this period and we're gonna set it to the parent and then to the code folder like so okay 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 and now if we would go control test movie we will see hello there so it has worked so we're now almost done with this mini tutorial now we have organized our files uh, with the folders co code, flash and output. Now there are multiple ways to organize your files. There isn't one good way to organize your files, there are multiple ways. So another known method is to uh, organize them with the folders bin, lib and source. Bin which contains your output files as the Swift and HTML files. Lib contains flash documents, images, sounds, swig files and uh, source the source folder that contains our action script files. Now there's also another setup and that one is with two folders deploy and source and source uh, contains our flash documents and a folder named classes which contains our action script files. Now the deploy folder contains our output files like the Swift and HTML files. Okay, so we're done. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and even more importantly learned something from this video. This is Daniel App and I thank you for watching this screencast. Good day.